Hello, I'm Noelle Lane reporting for the news feed. This is your feed update for Tuesday, February 24th. President Barack Obama will veto a Republican bill on Tuesday that would have approved construction on the Keystone XL oil pipeline. The bill arrived at the White House from Congress on Tuesday morning. The White House says that Obama will veto it by the end of the day. It's the third veto of Obama's presidency. The move puts a third English field where the baseball team is hosting their sixth annual Shea for the Brave event. The event started out with the team's annual Halloween scrimmage. The players, coaches, and in the second quarter, Bucky Hodges blocked the punt in the end zone, which resulted in a touchdown. UVA answered that with another field. Michelle Obama says that the U.S. has seen a cultural change in the five years she has started raising awareness about childhood obesity. The First Lady says the food companies, fast food restaurants, and convenience stores are racing like never before to create and sell more nutritious foods. Schools are growing gardens and replacing pizza and tater tots with fresh produce and whole grains at lunch. She even noted that Georgetown University's women's basketball team gave away kale to the first hundred people who attended the recent home game. Mrs. Obama says none of this was happening before her initiative. Back in December, the Blacksburg Town Council was discussing adding an entertainment or admissions tax to the budget. Since then, however, there has been very little talk about if the tax will be added. The town attorney proposed the idea for this tax in a work session in December. This tax would be 5% increase on pr ticket prices or door fees. There are a few places in the state of Virginia that have a version of this tax, such as Virginia Beach and Roanoke. I'm here at Scott Stadium where the Hokies just beat the Cavaliers 23-20 to for the 12th time in a row. We're continuing the bull streak going on 23 in a row. I'm here at BB&T Field where Tech just lost to Wake 6-3. to Tech needs to win against UVA to be bowl eligible. Well, 